Yes, good morning, welcome. Today we are going to be learning about Talophyta. We learned about the classification of living things. And we say that living things are classified into two major kingdoms, isn't it? And we have the plants and the animal world kingdom. Then we went further to say that the plant kingdom have other classifications under it. We will talk about the, the phylum, isn't it? After the phylum, we'll talk about the world, the classes, the other, the family, genus, and the world species. The same way we say that the plants, after the plant kingdom, the first, we have the divisions, isn't it? The classes, the other, the family, genus, and species, isn't it? Then under the divisions, we talked about the schizophyta in the previous class, isn't it? That's one of them. And today we're going to talk about the talophyta. The talophyta are simple plants with definite shape. Is that clear? They are actually simple plants with definite shape. The talophytas are simple plants with definite They have definite shape. Could be oval or any kind of shape. Members of the talophyta are the fungi, the algae, and the lichens. The fungi, the algae, and the what? Lichens. They are the members of these the vision known as talophyta is that clear? These latents are formed when an alga and a fungi exist together. Whenever you have an alga and a fungi existing together, then we are talking about what? The latent. They actually grow on rocks and tree trucks. They grow on what? Rocks and tree trucks. So we are going to take the characteristics of these two types of talophyta. The fungi and the what? Exactly. In subsequent classes, we will be making sketches of all the uh, different kinds of plants. The fungi will make sketches. You understand? You are supposed to know how to draw them and be able to do what? Level them. And be able to do what? Level them. So number one, type A type, we'll talk about the word fungi. What are the characteristics of a fungi? What are the characteristics of a fungi? Number one, they are eukaryotes and multicellular organisms. Number one is that they are eukaryotes and multicellular Organisms. Is that clear? Fungi are eukaryotes and multicellular organisms. And when we say eukaryotes, what do we, do we mean? They, we mean that they have definite <laughs> nucleus. Is that clear? They have well defined nucleus. That's what we mean by eukaryotes. They are multicellular. Simply means that they are not made up of only one cell, they are made up of more than one cell. Is that clear? Then what is the number two? characteristics of a fungi they have no true root stems and leaves fungi they have no true roots stems and what leaves unlike the gymnosperms you understand the normal plants that you see the green plants they have stem they have roots but this fungi, they don't have roots, true roots. They don't have true stems and true root leaves. Is that clear? Now, we'll talk, what are the other characteristics? We'll talk about the uh, non-green plants. That's the third characteristic. Fungi are non-green plants. They are non-green what? Plants. And what is it? Why are they non-green plants? Because they lack chlorophyll. They lack what? Chlorophyll. You understand? Chlorophyll is responsible for that green pigment in plants. You understand? So those plants that don't have chlorophyll, they are not green in color. Is that clear? Is that clear? They are mainly sacrificed while others are parasitic. They are what? They are mainly 
saprophytes while others are parasitic. You understand? Whenever a plant does not have green color, you know it's the green color that is responsible for photosynthesis, which is a process where the uh, plant under the influence of the sun produces its own food and energy, isn't it? So a plant that does not have green color, can it photosynthesize? No, it cannot. So how can it eat? How can it fetch food? It can do that by being what well, sacrifice. Sacrifice feed on dead, decaying organisms and materials, isn't it? Then parasites feed on other organisms to to survive, isn't it? So fungi are mainly saprophytes, and few of them are what well, parasitic. Is that clear? Then what other characteristics do fungi have? What other characteristics do fungi? Um, the vegetative plant body is made up of fine and delicate threads called hyphae. And I understand number five. They are made up of hyphae. You understand? These hyphae are what? Fine and delicate threads. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Fine and delicate words. Thread. Okay. Understand? You find out that when we draw a fungi, you see that it is actually made up of fine, delicate thread, known as what? High fair. High what? Fair. High fair. Very important. Another uh, characteristic is that they are mainly found in most environments. They are mainly found in the most. most environment. Fungi are mainly found in most environment. What do we mean by most environment? Hmm? No, most means place that contains water, maybe swampy or wet areas. You understand? Those are the places you find fungi. Understand all wet, moist food items, bread, all these kind of items. That's where you find them. What other characteristics? They reproduce asexually by means of spores. Understand that's the final. They reproduce. Asexually by means of spores. Exactly. That's the that's the way uh, that's the, the way they produce their their offsprings. That's their reproduction mechanism. They use asexual reproduction through the use of their what spores. Exactly. Now, what are the examples of fungi? We have rhizopos, mucca, mushroom, penicillin, and yeast. What are the examples of fungi? What are the examples of fungi? We talk about what? Rhizopos. What else is an example of the fungi? Mucca. You know what muko is, ma? Muko, what again? Mushroom. Mushroom. Mushroom and what? Penny silum. Penny silum. And what? Yeast. All these are examples of what? Fungi. Yeast is an example of fungi. Penicillin is an example of fungi. Rhizopus is an example of fungi. Mush mushroom. You, some people eat it, isn't it? It's also an example of fungi. Is that clear? So these are the characteristics of fungi. They are eukaryotes, 
are multicellular, they have no true root stems and leaves, they are non green plants, they lack chlorophyll, they are mainly saprophytes, while others are what parasitic, they are made up of hypha, which are delicate traits. You understand? They are found in most environments. They reproduce essentially by means of spores. And examples of fungi are rhizopos, rhizopos, muco, mushroom, penicillium, and yeast. Penicillium, yeast, rhizopos, muco, and mushroom are examples of fungi.